Welcome back to the SCMG Keys to Health Diabetes Prevention Program. We are now on Session 7, Burn More Calories Than You Take In. I'm Timmy Agustin, MSN, RN, your lifestyle coach for the program. Some few reminders on, a, on this particular session. The session packet will be sent to you via email, and please make sure to complete post-class assessment to report your weight and your minutes of physical activity. We need to report this as part of the program. If by any chance you have not received your email from us um, containing the packet and the handouts, please contact 858-499-3511 or email us at semg.k2h at sharp.com. Does anyone have any questions for me about what we talked about last time? Let's talk about how things went with the action plan you made last time. What went well? What didn't go so well? We can go over your action plans and goals for the upcoming week during our phone coaching sessions. From the previous session, we discussed the following, the purpose of getting more active, some ways to get more active, and how to track more details about your fitness. In the previous session, we provided you with some more ways to get more active. It could be simple ways to become more active at home, work, or when you're out. Walking your dog and play fetch, work in your garden, cleaning your house, walk at lunch at work, with, uh, you could exercise in your chair, take the stairs, stand while on the phone reading or eating or talk face-to-face -face with your workers instead of um, emailing them. When you're out, um, you could probably try go dancing, do Tai Chi, um, or park away from, from the door from the parking lot, or you could have a pedometer or a fitness tracker. Also, we discuss tracking more details about your physical activity. This could mean... Um, other details such as calories burned. It could be other stuff like steps, distance, and other details. Remember, in the program, it is important to keep track of your physical activity minutes for us to work toward the goal of 150 minutes per week. Here are the objectives for today's session. At the end of the session, you will be able to recognize the link between calories and weight. Explain how to track the calories that you take in. Next, explain how to track the calories you burn. And explain how to burn more calories than you take in. Losing weight can help prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. This module focuses on losing weight by burning more calories than you take in. So where do we get the calories that we take in? Absolutely from the food that we eat. And we burn those calories or energy through physical activity. Now, it is necessary and it's important to burn more calories than we take in in order for us to lose weight. And you have to tip the balance or the seesaw towards losing more calories than taking in more. Because if you, the seesaw is just balance, and then therefore you will not lose weight. Let's refer to the story of Paul in your participant handout on page 3. Paul is 47 years old and weighs 240 pounds. He is at risk for type 2 diabetes. His doctor urges him to lose 40 pounds at a rate of 1 pound per week. Losing 1 to 2 pounds a week is a healthy goal for most adults. 
as experts say. This gradual weight loss is the way to make lasting changes. To lose one pound a week, Paul needs to burn 3,500 more calories than he takes in each week. That's 500 calories per day. You might be thinking, what are some ways that Paul can burn 500 more calories than he takes in each day? First, he could take in 500 fewer calories per day by changing his eating habits. Second, he could burn 500 more calories per day by being more active. And lastly, or he could cut 500 calories per day through a mixture of eating and activity. Now, Paul needs about roughly 2,200 calories a day just to stay at the same weight. If he cuts 500 calories per day, that leaves him with 1,700 calories. That may not sound like a lot of calories to work with, but keep in mind, Paul can reach the goal through a mixture of eating and activity. There's a box on your participant handout on page 3 saying what are daily calorie needs. Your daily calorie needs are the calories you need to maintain your weight. The number is based on your age, sex, height, build, and weight. It doesn't take your activity level into account. Now looking more on Paul's story, let's see how Paul does on a Sunday. First, he eats a forehand 400 calorie breakfast. Then he takes a brisk walk and burns 90 calories. So you would see that these are Paul's needs 2200 per day in order for him to maintain weight. 1,700 calories per day is Paul's goal because we decided to reduce 500 calories per day in order for us to lose one pound per week. Now, when Paul ate the 400 calories breakfast, it is on the calories in because that's intake. Now, he takes a brisk walk for 90 calories. So the brisk walk is worth 90 calories. Now, he decided to have a mid-morning snack, which is worth 200 calories, and so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, he had a snack for 200 um, bedtime snack for 200 calories, and that totals to 2,000 calories. However, that is the caloric intake. The calories out is at 310 calories only. Now, if you are looking at deducting 20, 100, 2,000 calories minus 310 calories, that is just only... 1690 calories. Therefore, it is going to be challenging for Paul's. He beat his goal for 10 calories. Let's see how Paul does on a Sunday. First, he eats a 400 calorie breakfast. Then he takes a brisk walk and burns 90 calories. Later, he has a 200-calorie mid-morning snack. He has a 500-calorie lunch, a 100-calorie afternoon snack, 
then he mows the lawn and burns 100 calories. He has a 600 calorie dinner, then he takes a longer brisk walk and burns 120 calories. Later, he has a 200 calorie bedtime snack. On this particular slide, you would know that the calories in for Paul during that day is 2,000 calories. While he burned 310 calories, therefore you subtract 2,000, subtract by 310, and that will give 1690 calories. Paul beats his goal by 10 calories because that is Paul's goal of 1700 calories per day in order for him to lose one pound per week. He is halfway now to his maintaining his goal weight or getting there to um, achieve his goal weight. There are some ways that Paul could approach to take in fewer calories. He could bake the chicken instead of frying it, drink water instead of soda or juice, have smaller portions, Snack on carrot sticks instead of potato chips. So, in page 5 of your participant handbook, you could look at ways to eat fewer calories. Now, again, looking at the principles of burning more calories than you take in, we now go to burning more calories. It could that Paul could be active for more time, go farther or faster, go up steeper hills, lift heavier weights, and take more steps per day. How to track the calories that you take in to figure out, um, you need to know two things. What you actually ate and drink, and how much you did eat or drink to be able to keep track. Remember that we discussed ways to find calories in food, which include looking at the list of calories in common foods. You explored on food label reading, trying to examine and read nutrition facts labels. There are some online tools also and using your smartphone or your computer app. On this slide, would look into ways to record your calories, probably include smartphone and computer apps, spiral notebook, a spreadsheet, and a voice recorder. Here is a slide that uh, talks about some suggestions or ways to eat fewer calories and it's it can be found on your page five of your participant handout some few suggestions for each meal breakfast lunch and dinner you could do a healthy swap for example during breakfast instead of using your whole milk you could use a, um, a fat-free milk version instead of a cup of whole milk and that will save you 63 calories at the end of the day look at how much did you save and therefore everything adds up another way to reduce your caloric intake is looking by um, strategies to rethink your drink on page 8 to 10 will be some ways for you to look at to replace your drinks, your high-calorie drinks with low-calorie or no-calorie drinks. For example, looking at fruit punch, in 20 ounces, there is 320 calories. If you have an intake of lesser volume, meaning 12 ounces instead of 20 ounces, you save 128 calories. If you have a regular cola, which is on a 20-ounce, 
average of 227 calories. If you take a smaller portion, that will be 136 calories, approximately saving you 91 calories. A lemonade, on the other hand, on a 20 ounce will be 280 calories. And if you go for a smaller portion, which is 12 ounces, it will save you at least 112 calories. Also, when you try to consider milk, milk contains vitamins and minerals and protein. But again, it also contains calories. Choosing low-fat or fat-free milk is a good way to, to cut your calories and still get the things that your body needs. For example, you might consider chocolate milk whole is 208 ounces in 8 ounce portion. Your plain milk fat-free is only 90 calories in 8 ounces. So there is really a smaller calorie or ca caloric value for each of the fat-free versions. Experts say it's healthy to lose 1 to 2 pounds per week. Most people need to cut roughly 500 calories a day to lose 1 pound per week. Cutting the calories in your drinks can help you reach this goal. It makes sense to reduce your caloric intake from the drinks if you are fond of um, consuming soda or other forms of drinks that are high in calories. So, also, it is important to take a look at the nutrition facts label. Again, we have learned this from the previous sessions that to take a look at how many servings per container in each of your drinks would contain and therefore also pay attention to the calories that it has. Here are some few suggestions to make better drink choices. You could ask for your drink to be made with skim milk instead of whole milk. You might want to skip the whip or the whip, whipped cream. Order a plain cup of coffee with skim milk. Maybe you could try to consider ordering the smallest size you can get. Here are some few more suggestions on your participant handout on page 13, ways to burn more calories. There is a table that shows you the activities and the calories burned in an hour and in a 30 minutes interval. And for example, take a look at hiking. If you hike for an hour, you, you will probably burn roughly around 370 calories. In 30 minutes, if you did hike for 30 minutes, that corresponds to 185 calories burned. If you did walking for an hour at a moderate pace, that was approximately 280 calories burned versus the 30 minutes which is around half of which is 140 calories. Stretching and weight training are also listed here. Some few things to try at home. Um, track for at least a day the calories that you take in and the calories you burn for that particular day. And let me know how it works for you. We could discuss the details of what you have listed on your food log. And uh, we could look into strategies or other ways to help you to move forward with an action plan.
we talk about today, um, the link about calories and weight, how to track the calories that you take in and you burn, and how to burn more calories than you take in. What are you looking to do for this upcoming week? As part of your action plan, keep in mind what worked and what didn't work well for you since the last session. Are there any changes you want to make? Remember, as part of our goal is for you to be active at least 150 minutes per week. What do you think of doing to be able to reach this goal? Remember to start something small and you could work on something more in the coming weeks. One way to cut calories is to think about what you drink. If you replace drinks that are high in calories with drinks that, that have low or no calories, you can save approximately of 641 calories a day and you could find more information on page 8 of your handout. Also, you might be thinking of what ways you could think to burn more calories. You could try some ideas on page 13 of your handouts. Let me know of what are your goals for this week. Where will you do it? When you will do it? For how long? And any challenges you think you might face? and what ways you could cope with these challenges. We just come to the end of this session, Session 7, Burn More Calories Than You Take In. Do not forget to keep track of your physical activity as we have learned in Session 3. You deserve all of the credit and hard work you have done for this week. And also track your food intake as we have learned in session 5. Think about what you could do for a healthy swap, ways to get few more, fewer more calories, and some ways are suggested on your handouts. Again, thank you for participating in the webinar. Do not forget to complete the post-class assessment survey to report your weight and minutes of physical activity and answer some few questions related to this topic that we have discussed. I am Timmy Agustin, MSN RN, your lifestyle coach for the Keys to Health program. I will be giving you a call to check in with you weekly. For any questions or concerns, you could contact us at 858-499-3511 or email us at scmg.k2h at sharp.com.